Welcome to Early Bird Picker. My name is Rafa, I'm a reseller. Today is day three in week of the life of a reseller, the series that I'm doing, where I track everything I where I track everything that I'm doing as far as reselling, um, show you guys the different activities that I do, and then along with that, at the end of the day, I'll calculate the minutes that I spend doing each of those activities. So you can just get a look at the life of a somebody, I uh, just started um, transitioning from part-time reselling to full-time reselling about a month ago. So I'm very new into this. I'm not trying to say this is how you should do it. It's simply documentary of how I'm doing it. So thank you so much for following along. Please hit the like and subscribe and come along with me today on Wednesday and see what we what we got going on with reselling. Basically video week chronicles my journey into trying to get to 10 listings per day. I am starting off today by sold. I sold, fortunately had a book sale come through. I do Amazon FB uh, M, which is fulfilled by merchant. That's where I keep the books at my house and then I ship them out. Um, for whatever reason, I just don't find as many books. And it, well, it's not for whatever reason. I just don't scan that many books. Anytime I see a book that looks interesting or definitely a college textbook, I'll scan those. But this book just looked real interesting. It's about uh, handling and training your alpacas and llamas. I saw this at Goodwill. It's $3.50. When I took it to the register, the lady at the register said, oh, are you training alpacas? And I was like, no, <laughs> but I didn't know what else to say. So I just like left it at that because all I had in my head was like, I'm about to make almost like $30 profit from this book. My strategy on Amazon fulfilled by merchant is just to be the lowest price person because I always buy books for pretty low cost of good. So like I said, I had $3.50 into this and it sold for $29 plus shipping on Amazon. Thank you so much for everybody who's tuned into this particular video series that I'm doing. If you're new to the video series, basically I'm showing you uh, the different parts of reselling throughout my day on video. And then at the end of the day, I calculate how many minutes I spent in total doing every different aspect of reselling. I divide it up pretty well as far as even to the point of like, as far as doing a listing, I don't just say I'm doing my listing. I say I do prep and cleaning for my items. I say that I'm doing my photos for my items and then the listing. So I break it apart. Uh, to that degree basically i hope you enjoy this please drop me a like and subscribe and uh let's get going for the day first trip of the morning gonna get at the shoes that i sold yesterday get those to the post office as along with a book along with a book that came through overnight and then gonna stop by goodwill that's half a mile from my house then come home and list for the day Fortunately, the line was really short uh, inside USPS this morning. I only spent a total of four minutes. I will go back this afternoon, though, if I have more sales, which I hope with getting some listing done, it'll spur on some more sales. I have my um, eBay set to do one-day shipping, and hand like for the shipping and handling one day, but it, as much as possible, I try to get things out same day if it is possible. So a lot of times I'll go to the post office in the morning, and then again in the afternoon if sales come through during the day. I just think that's a really nice uh, way to try to get positive feedback back from the buyer and especially with it being q4 the usps has already slowed down i've already gotten two messages from buyers that were supposed to have an item by a certain date and then it took longer and just during q4 it's pretty well known that the post office just comes to a slowdown um, from what they say their projected delivery date is to what the actual delivery date is from a reselling perspective it was a strikeout at the goodwill that i just went to but i did find some boots for myself i rarely find my size and so i was super excited and i actually don't have any cowboy boots right now i'm living in oklahoma that's a shame so uh, really happy to get some boots for myself at $9.99 and headed home to get some listing done. Just spent a total of 35 minutes getting these 10 items prepped and ready for photos. And so uh, that boils down to about three and a half minutes. Uh, and so prep and to me means like that I'm cleaning the shoes or um, potentially like weighing the item. That's basically what goes into prep is just getting them clean and ready for photos. And so next, like I said, those 10 items, I'll get them on to taking photos and then get them listed. But right now I'm gonna break for lunch. And so I'm really trying to highlight highlight the benefits of working for yourself and working from home is like normally if you're working at an you know if you're an employee at a job they probably tell you here is when your break is you know if you even have one at all and so um it's really nice to be able to go okay after i finish these 10 items i've hit my goal as far as the 10 items for prepping them i think it's a good time to take a break for lunch and so it's really cool getting to be your own boss and say here's exactly the time at 1226 randomly in the afternoon which is really close to 1230 but it's like that's when I'm going to take my lunch and it doesn't matter if I take a five minute lunch or a 30 minute lunch or a 45 minute lunch it's all good as long as I get my 10 items and my goal hit for today there's a lot of things that are really positive about working for yourself and working from home there's a lot of negative too it's really scary every day it's like how am I going to make money but in this video project I'm focusing on the positive positive. and so one really cool thing is while I'm making lunch I'm really into playing chess or I used to be and so I'm trying to get back into 
into it. And so I'm not a gamer for say, I don't play any other games other than chess. And so like during while I'm making my lunch, I'm just sitting down and having uh, playing a game or two of chess. And I know it's like whenever I was working as an employed person, that's definitely something that I could not do on the company's time or just like in the middle of lunch because my lunch wasn't long enough. And so um, anyway, I just thought that's a really cool thing to add. For my 10 items that I had prepped just behind me, took me just 15 minutes total to get all the photos of all of them. Pretty happy with that. Now on to listing. I'm gonna close down the nest for a few minutes. I have somebody that wants to meet locally for actually two pair of shoes, both in size 13. Going to be selling these Nike Freeze in kind of like the floral color. You can see pretty nice condition overall. I paid just $6 for these at Goodwill. And for the these and these Jordans combined, um, I'm asking $60, so I'll be 10 times in, or no, sorry, uh, let's say five times my money because I paid six dollars for this pair as well at Goodwill you can see uh, the some Jordans and it's Jordans in white are just really hard they're really hard once they get dingy they're just hard to bring back to life completely but like I said I paid six bucks gonna get 30 for these and then 30 for these pretty happy about both those flips took me just three minutes to drive to my meetup location for the Facebook marketplace meetup for those shoes got my 60 bucks for both of them he was here right as I got here so I had literally zero minutes in waiting uh, for that meetup and that's not always the case sometimes people are like 10 15 15 minutes late and they don't think it's a big deal at all like they won't even apologize and so it was really nice to have a meetup just smooth right on time today gonna head literally right, right next door to this one i can see it there it is recognize it right there goodwill right behind my meetup spot so probably uh, go there for the second time today sometimes i make two passes and um if you're going from part-time to full-time that is the reality of a lot of full-time resellers is they go thrifting multiple times a day and sometimes to the same thrift stores depending on how far away they are from your house or if you kind of know the schedule of when things are coming out. So I'm going to hit up there for a second time. I'll literally spend probably, my guesstimate is five to ten minutes and we'll know for sure in a minute but to see if, if there's nothing in there. Now, if there's stuff to look at, I'll spend more time, obviously. So based on my sales in the last 24 hours, it's clear that I sell on at least three marketplaces. That's all that I sell on right now. I was on Macari and then I got off of there. I just wasn't really having that much good luck. And so I sell on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and then on Amazon. And when it comes to Facebook Marketplace, that is not my primary, my primary area that I list um, items on, my used items is eBay. And then I cross post them to Facebook Marketplace after I've listed them on eBay. I don't know, comment down below if you sell on both eBay and Facebook Marketplace, if that's the way you do it, or do you do it the other way around? I wouldn't suspect that'd be the thing for most people. I've tracked before my sales and 30% of my sales were pretty much coming from my Facebook Marketplace uh, online sales and 70% or 60 to 70% from um, eBay with like less than 10% going on Amazon. Really the about the only thing that I sell on Amazon are used books. And so um, just whenever I happen to find a used book that is, you know, seems like it's valuable. But other than that, the major majority of my reselling activity is on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, just in case you're wondering gonna take a chance on these Brooks Ghost. This is the Brooks Ghost 13. The 14 just came out, so this is the model that literally, it's within the last couple months, still the most recent model. I'm gonna take a chance on them. Um, the upper is not in the best of condition. You can see they obviously need to be cleaned, but I'm gonna soak them in OxyClean and then just scrub them from there. With these being such a recent model, they'll go for probably 50 or 60 bucks once they're cleaned up paying just $5.99 for the Brooks Ghost. So at least I was able to get one item thrifted today, these really dirty Brooks Ghost. Um, at the end of the day, after putting some work and some work into it, you know, just scrubbing and everything, should be able to turn that into at least like a $50 bill. So I'll be happy with that. So it took me exactly 59 minutes to get my 10 items listed. Let me show you the 10 items I got listed for today. So here are nine of the 10 items. We've got the Sorrel boots or Sorrel boots, I guess. Like I said, they're not really all that common here in Oklahoma. Uh, the Killer Bee head cover, the Revere Wear egg poacher, these Dallas, Texas cups, the Salad Master uh, replacement handle, the five set of five pound, 10 pounds total dumbbells, uh, the New Balance Furon like soccer cleats, some Nike Air Max, um, and then the uh, Solo boots. And then the other thing that I got listed was this Samsonite. This might be a bad buy. You guys ever, I'm sure you guys have that feeling just the same as me. I have no idea if this thing's going to sell. It's only five bucks at Goodwill, but it's so large. I just don't know if it's going to sell fast enough. It's kind of more the bigger issue is I just don't want it taking up so much room in the nest. 
had another sale this afternoon. I had those two local, uh, or the one local meetup for two pair of shoes, and then I had another shoe sale today. This is the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5. It's the identical shoe to the black one that I sold earlier this week, just in a different colorway. You can, again, see, uh, I believe it probably came from the same exact person, the exact same size, just different colors. The condition on this one, also excellent. It's just, almost just like never been worn is what it looks like to me. Maybe just worn like around the house a few times or something like that. So I did still sell them in used condition, but the buyer is getting a really good deal on these. I paid just $3 for these at a thrift store and I'm getting 35 plus shipping on eBay. And so I'm really happy with how today went. I just finished um, getting my 10 items listed. I know that if working from home 10 items, it's not enough to probably sustain all my bills or whatnot, but it is my first goal. I should have started that on Monday by explaining my two major goals of kind of this project and uh, just uh, for me personally, is what I've set for myself is I want 10 things listed on average per day. Um, and that's like Monday through Friday. For so 50 a week. I think that'd be a good starting place. I don't think it's enough, but I definitely want to increase it. And then the second goal is that I would make $100 in sales, not including the shipping price um, each day. And so I've hit, hit my goal for today. I had the book that sold for $29 before um the $29 before shipping, I made the $60 locally, and then I'm getting the $35 before shipping on these for a total of $124. So I'm really happy to have met both my goals for today. And I'm really trying to not, um, as I'm getting into this, um, like I said, still uh, so new to me being full-time. I'm trying not to be hard on myself. I'm trying to look at this project project as strictly something where I'm trying to measure what I'm going to ultimately try and manage. I'm just trying to measure where I'm at right now. And I'm happy if I meet my goal of the 10 sales or the 10 listings per day and the $100 minimum in sales total. Um, it's certainly not where I want to be, but it is a first goal that I have. And so I'm happy about meeting that goal today. And then I'm going to, for the other days that I haven't met that, look at how to increase that. Um, whenever I'm getting ready to head out, I like like I said, I want to do same day shipping on this shoe just because I think it's just a nice touch for the buyer. And it's just, uh, for me, I don't want to go straight back in the listing right now. And so I'm going to take this to the post office. I may go on a run. That's something that I'm focusing on now that I don't have a full-time job or like where I'm employed by another person is that I'm trying to get my health. I'm trying to improve my health, just like probably most people are, you know, having their mind they want to. And so I thought now's the time to do it. And so I've set a goal. I've actually already signed up for a 10k run that I'm gonna do I think it's in January it's a few months off but I, I need to start training for it now so anyway just in the um, late afternoon I'm gonna go for a run and so that's nice to be able to uh, get to enjoy doing that just in the middle of the day and not wait until I get home from some job and it's too dark out or what have you and um, I'm like I said gonna run to the post office and then I'll probably still do a little bit of work in the nest where I get some more items uh, prepped and ready to go to be photo photographed and listed for tomorrow so I'll finish up all once I get back from the post office let you know um, the split for how much uh, how many minutes everything took today and I'll have a better idea when I'm able able to calculate that so I'll see y'all in just a few I'm marking it as the end of my workday. It is 6.02, so I worked overtime today. I worked, definitely not overtime, but I worked later than normal. And so let me share with you the uh, overall how I spent my minutes today. I spent 53 minutes in prepping and cleaning my items. I, so I hit my goal of getting 10 things listed today. And so that included 53 minutes in prepping and cleaning um, those 10 items, plus a few that I'm getting ready uh, for tomorrow. I spent 20 minutes taking photos or editing photos. I spent 59 minutes actually listing the item on eBay. I think I listed technically 10 things on eBay and four things cross posted to Facebook Marketplace. And I do that just by hand. I don't use any sort of service or app or anything like that. So I don't count that as 14 things listed, but um, so I had 10 things listed with four things cross posted. I spent, um, let's see, 11 minutes doing my shipping for today, only 17 minutes thrifting. So that's definitely lower than the last two days. And that was intentional. Today was supposed to be more of a day where I focused on meeting my goal of listing things rather than going thrifting again. I only spent 30 minutes driving. So I pretty much cut that in half from the last couple of days, which I was happy about. I spent 11 minutes in waiting inside the post office, waiting to get my items scanned the two times that I went today. I spent 75 minutes, um, or I will on YouTube once I've finished editing this video for tonight. Zero minutes unloading my truck today, uh, five minutes messaging buyers, 48 minutes networking on social media. And so that's part of my strategy with YouTube is I do networking on social media. And then 27 minutes organizing the nest, so just trying to get things nicer. Uh, the Nerf pile that was here, you can see, 
The floor is clean now, so I got all the Nerf stuff off the floor that was there a couple days ago. In total, I spent five hours and, or 356 minutes, so five hours and 56 minutes working on specifically reselling tasks today, which I feel like from the start of the week when it was closer to four hours, that's a pretty good improvement. It's just really hard. It's just, it's totally a hard thing when you're new to being a work from home to be disciplined to work for eight hours solid throughout the day and realistically if people were to time themselves at their job where they're maybe employed it's unlikely that they're dedicated to their job a true eight hours i would just highly doubt that so i'm actually pretty happy with the six hours i'm hoping to get that up a little bit but overall i'm happy with how today went more than anything, I just want to get more efficient at listing items and processing them. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with meeting my two goals for the day. Thank you so much for watching day three of Week in the Life of a Reseller. Uh, I'm Rafa, Early Bird Picker. I'll see all y'all on the next video.